Hey, YouTube, what's going on? Steph, back with another video topic. And it's morning time, man. And, you know, this video just caught my attention. It's um, Ruby Rose misses her ex. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's, it's kind of funny to me, you know, how... Women like Ruby. Well, let me let me just say this, right? Ruby is a very, very oh my God, is a very beautiful woman, right? Um, I I like brown skin. I love my I love my brown skin sisters. Very attractive, great body, pretty eyes, um, nice lips. You know the whole nine yards. Um, she's very confident in what she does. But here's like the problem with a woman like Ruby Rose. It's just a whole lot of drama, bro. It's it's a lot of nonsense with a woman like Ruby. It's constant fighting with this girl. It's like not ever at peace, especially to someone like her. It's always drama, it's always something little, and it's dragging on the internet. And that's how, like, you know, um, a lot of these women are, right? Uh, I was talking to a, a, a guy at my gym about that. Um, you know, a lot of women, especially to my sisters, I, I told them this, man. In your own home, it's like World War Three with your chick. And it's just like, you know, when is it going to be peace? When is it going to like, when are we going to just like wave the white flag and be like, you know what? I don't even want nothing to do with this anymore. But it, it's not like ever like that. Right. So, you know, the Ruby Rose, man, when she says she misses her ex, man, and we all know who she talking about, bro. Like after they done broke up, the dude just continues to elevate drop new music doing more interviews you know doing doing everything the right way the right way uh all right my fault fellas uh, <laughs> mike got caught in. it was <laughs> getting on my nerves anyway man you know doing everything the right way getting to the bag getting to the money um not doing the drugs uh shoot always just you know doing all these fashion shows you know, always pushing himself to a higher scale, man. And and it's like when when you got a man like that who's not focused on, you know, the women and, and they just pushing a bag, right? You know, and they and they put opening doors for themselves, not focusing on the women, bro, especially the toxic women in their life. You see like how far a lot of these guys go. And it's just like when you was around this dude, you was probably saying he born, he works too much. Oh, he he should be paying more attention to me. It's just like, you know, what what else you want a man to do? Constantly starting fights, you know, ruining his image, trying to ruin his his um his way of thinking, man. Cause women will not ever understand that. When you continuously fight with the dude over and over and over and over again, you're messing his bag up. You messing up his thought process of being creative, especially too when you're on that side of entertainment, when you're creating um, business for each other, right? And when when you're doing that, it, it, it's not healthy for him. And you know, most men they continuously fight over and over and over and over again with the girl, going back and forth. Meanwhile, she getting. Meanwhile, she dating other dudes, getting clapped, or she want to see if the streets is fun, or you know, she want to see if the grass is greener if I take, if I go over here, right? Especially too, with these OF girls, man. And I was thinking about this, fellas. When you have a girl that does OF, and it's constant noise, negativity around it. It messes you up. That's why, you know, a lot of these OF girls, I would say, they 
they love the money that comes with it, but they hate what what comes with it. Like a lot of these weirdo dudes be in their DMs or in their text messages saying this, that, and the third. And, you know, Ruby being in the uh, OF world, it, it's, it messes her life up. And now when, you know, you chase this, this garbage, when, like I say, when the grass is greener on the other side, you, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, man, this is not what I like. Constantly getting disrespect. Um, being treated like garbage. Like, you know, she, she says, I'm a queen. I deserve more respect than that. But look how you carry yourself. Right? Look, look how you look, look, look at the image you projected on yourself. And on top of that, too, most of these men in the industry only want you for one thing. And then you say to yourself, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman. I should be treated like this. But eh, none of these dudes care. None of these men care. And, and you're going you're gonna to get, get hurt for it. You're going to get exactly what this girl is doing. That's why, like I said in the video, man, when you let her go, man, you let go of all the constant BS. Now you got clarity. You can, you, you have drive to do more, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can um, push yourself to be even better. And like this dude over here, he found himself like a, a better woman who's not an OF star, who's, who's actually a movie star, bringing positivity into his life, not probably not even hurting him, probably pushing him to do more. And, and and this is what happens. He's he's at peace. Oh, oh boy, man, he shoot, he got a baby by this new girl because why? Because he sees something better in better in her, and she sees something better in him, and they see something they can do better with each other. And when you got a man like that, bro, like the the ex that wanted to be like, oh, the streets is fun, the grass is greener on the other side. A girl like Ruby's gonna suffer. That's why, like, a lot of these women, man, they, they chase their ex and think, like, oh, it's, oh, he's gonna change. He's doing this. He's the same type of dude from before. Nothing will ever change, right? Nothing will ever change. Like, even, um, like these, these, uh, girls that I know they talk to right now, this girl over in Miami with an ex at, like, does her wrong and all that other stuff, but she just keep going back to him because why she cannot get enough of him. And she's not ever gonna understand that. This dude ain't no good for me, but she just, she want that, um, she want that validation because she thinks that one day he will change. One day, like, he's gonna be better, but it, it's not gonna happen. See, when, when, when women chase these toxic dudes or, you know, when women play these, get played by these games, they suffer. And then they say, man, I miss the guy that did everything right for me. I mean, but, but she wasn't thinking like that when, when you was with this, with this one dude. You wasn't thinking like that when you was chasing the street thug dude. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't, think, you wasn't thinking like that when, when you want to go out club and party, man. Shoot. <laughs> Them, them streets at night, man, it's a dark, it's a dark place. It's a very dark place. That's why I said in a video before, um, the streets is not to be played with. People think, oh, I belong in the streets, so I'm gonna stay in there. Ah. <laughs> it, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt you more than anything. But most women don't think like that. And then, and then on top of that too. You're getting older. You're not the hot little thing in the club no more. You're not the hottest thing out there. And, and, and you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer badly. You know what I'm saying? You're going to suffer bad. Because it's like you didn't want to learn. You know, a lot of these guys out here, they want that genuine connection. But <laughs> it don't work that way. They don't. But you, you refuse to... You refuse to listen. You refuse to realize that at an at a early age, yeah, this dude is protecting me. You F what the homegirls are talking about. Like, I got someone I could lay up with at night. 
you can come home to that, you know. But now you living in a in a room apartment, making all this good money, and you got a, a bunch of DMs just flooded by dudes only want you for one thing. <laughs> and that's and that's Ruby Rose, because what the what the one dude did. He staying focused on to himself and he's always you know elevating she getting the chicken bag. Look at all look at all the dudes that you've been chasing. They ain't doing nothing. Borrowing with money. Shoot, back begging for um podcast deals and all that other stuff. And now you and now you seeing it and it's just like, man, I it, it's it's no fun around here. It's not fun. It's not fun, especially too. Oh boy, man, he he getting he getting more deals, and you cannot be a part of that. And then now you got this crazy stigma on your back of you know Ruby Rose is for the streets and all this other stuff. You got to suffer for that. You have to suffer. There's nothing you can do about that. And and I tell dudes this. All right, I'm, I'm going to tell the truth on this one. Don't ever take her back because she blatantly disrespects you. Don't ever take her back because you missed the memories with her. She chose she chose that life. You got to leave you got to leave her where she's at. Because like I said, even with the chick who's like having fun or whatever. She, 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 she having fun with this dude, and then she realized, like, oh, it, it's not it, what it's cracked up to be. I want to go back to the guy who's treating me right. Don't ever be that way. You just got to learn to let it go. That's why I say, you know, let go and, and block the number because you will not ever get that woman that you truly want. Some somewhere in that in that um, time frame where she changed. And, and it's not going to be the same. I know guys want everything to go back to normal. There's no such thing as going back to normal. It just doesn't. It just doesn't um, feel right. It just doesn't look right. That's why I say you must let go. Let go and just let her be. Tell her bye. That's it. <laughs>